And what we do today is we compare quickly the Sada from Oak Ridge. You know, we had the 25 version already here. This is this one. Easy to string. Easy. Only the string came already off, but I showed you. And finally, my French Stefan in Germany made it happen. We get the 35 pound was lost and shipping limb width the same so only thickness a little different rest looks all the same so the oak ridge 35 pounds so they could improve the strings a little they look a little flimsy but it's fine for the price you know it's a hundred don't even know 50 euro. Let's see how the 35 pound is stringing. Nice. In, in there's this white string pad, like a string bridge, so it's easy to string. Look at this. It's all identical. Looks a little longer, huh? does it? Yeah. Look at this. It's longer. Don't have anything to measure here, so the 35 pound is a little longer than the 25 pound. You see that? Front is the 25 pound. I put them handle to handle. Even the shape is a little different. Look at this. 35 has a little more flex in the handle. Yeah, not necessarily. But swings out a little smoother. Interesting, we have way less brace side, so I guess brace side is too low here. Let's adjust the brace side a bit. So now we are coming close with the brace side. And now they look a bit more similar, but still. 35 pound is a little longer. Should draw then even easier the 25, what was it? Did it draw 25, uh, 32? Yeah, it did. It did. It was nice. The 35. Same error, 329, there are these bumps again. Finishing quality, not there. Yeah, it was nice, look at this. 35 is just fine. 500 grain errors, guess too much. String twist cutter, a little like we had with the other one. Nice one. So the little shorter one, the 25 pounds. How does it draw? How do we reach full draw? Nice, nice, nice. And here you feel it a bit, but it goes, I would say 31. It's just a nice draw for this one. And a 35 pounder. The same arrow. Nice, nice, nice. And I feel it here already, so 30 inches. Oh, you need to force the bow to 31 already, so you feel it gets early a bit stiff and the handle is then a little moving, but still 28, 29, 30, 31 does the job. Needs a few shots to get more flexible and the 25 one was 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So this one is a little easier and because it's a little more stiff, takes a little more, but I guess 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, yeah, it's fine. So, starts flexing now. Shooting experience wise has a little more kick, obviously. For the rest, they are same experience. So it's simply a matter of draw weight. 
for a beginner I think 25 is almost a little less if you go with a 30 35 pound you're very good to go so this one and my friend Stefan shoots one and he has now I don't know how many thousand shots on it his bow still lasts so durability wise should be fine build quality wise they are nice it's not I mean you see here a few the transitions here are not yeah, and then here we have this dot here it's 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 mass production but it's not a bad looking bow the, 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 the binding here is nice it's a pretty bow for what it is so Oakridge Sada nice bow that's the job and for the price I guess 150 euros a nice laminated Tatar-ish looking bow this might be part of the comparison when I compare now all the new Tatar bows we have nice make sure that your price set is high enough and then this bow does the job I don't do no speed test of course this bow will be with the same arrows a bit faster than the other one and but it's it's too similar to make now an individual video about this one what I can tell is that the handle is a little bending so you will always feel a little in the hand but it's not that annoying but it's there for the rest nice bow thank you very much Stefan for sending it to me got lost for a few months in the postal universe pretty <sighs> thank you very much for watching catch you in the next one <laughs>